Hey everyone, it looks like there's an election coming up, and the outcome is almost certainly going to see one of the worst endings of a party since that get-together that Michael Barrymore had at his swimming pool. The grand announcement came as Rishi Sunak cobbled together a press conference while standing out in the pouring rain and thus ruining a perfectly good suit, which all things considered is a pretty good metaphor for his uniquely disastrous and out-of-touch leadership style. It's also especially bizarre given that he was one of the ones that, as Chancellor, would have signed off the invoice to construct that purpose-built media centre at number 9 Downing Street. You know, that's the press conference that's indoors. One can only imagine that it must have been double booked that morning owing to yet another IT screw-up. Or maybe it was still strewn with empty bottles of wine from the night before from Tesco, and Rishi therefore thought it might remind people of the better times when Boris was in charge. Actually, I say better, but it's not as if a lot has changed really. Inflation is still horrible, and energy prices are still artificially high owing to the net zero stuff that, as a reminder, China and India don't give a monkeys about. Although at least under Boris's watch, the news could normally be relied upon to end with one of those, and finally, comedy stories. You know, the ones typically about one of Nicola Sturgeon's friends and family being investigated by the police. Longer term viewers of the channel will probably be aware that I typically go away for a month's holiday every summer. And of course, this year will be no exception. I'm currently booking my flights this weekend to minimise any chance of seeing Keir Starmer on the television. For those also looking to travel away this summer, you can maybe try France. Right now, you get one euro 17 to the pound, and there's a free boat home leaving Calais every night just after the pubs kick out, and the home office free hotel of choice is a travel tavern just outside Hastings. All of Keir Starmer wins and you probably get upgraded to a four-star Marriott outside Seven Oaks. Anyway, what else was in the news? Well, filmmaker Morgan Spurlock passed away, and the Grim Reaper has a new documentary out about it called Super Scythe Me. I'm imagining Morgan getting a tour of the afterlife and the devil tries to scare him with some flaming hot magma, but then Morgan turns around and says it doesn't really look too bad. After all, he had to endure those piping hot McApple pies for a month. Up in the skies, there was yet another near miss from a Boeing plane after one briefly dropped several thousand feet and narrowly avoided disaster. There's a terrifying iPhone video online doing the rounds of passengers and hand luggage being thrown all over the cabin and Boeing officials being very quick to blame old-fashioned turbulence. Although I'm quite surprised they didn't blame the Singapore Airlines CEO, who after all promised shareholders he'd quote, shake things up this year. And finally, there was a diplomatic row after Ireland, Spain and Norway decided to formally recognise Palestine as a state. I'm not really sure why this is news though. Most of us have seen the pictures and videos from that part of the world and in all honesty, it does look like a right state if you ask me. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.